Hello, I'm Penny Meganson from Oh Moon from the Meganson Method, and I'm here with Ksenia and Baby Alma, and we're here Hello. for the Mummy and Me home workout. So we're going to begin in standing, and we're going to start with just simple squats. So you're going to take your feet about hip width apart, and it's like you're sitting back in a chair. Now you can either hold the baby out in front of you or you can just give her a cuddle and hold her close to you. But just using the baby as a weight, you can sit back like you're sitting back into a chair. Make sure your toes are facing forward and just pushing up and slowly coming down and just always making sure that you're breathing. So you exhale as you push up, inhale as you come down. Okay. So again, sitting down like you're sitting back into a chair. keeping the baby in close. And then once you're ready to make it harder, you can bring the baby overhead um, as you come down and up. Just lifting up. Good. Taking one big step, either forward or back, so we're in a nice lunge position. The important thing is when you bend that forward leg that the knee is at 90 degrees and that the knee doesn't go over the toe. So we're just bending the knee, dropping the body down and coming up. Remember you're breathing out as you come up and as you go down, keeping the body or the baby close to you. And again, to make it more challenging, you can lift the baby overhead or just away from your body and it makes it harder. Otherwise, just keep that, keep your baby close to you. And we'll change legs. Mm -hmm. So switching legs and always making sure that the toes are facing forward. And keeping baby close to you to keep her happy. So next you're gonna place the baby on a nice comfortable surface on the floor and get into a plank position so you're looking at her or him. And here we can just hold a nice plank position and hold that position as long as you can. You could even try picking up one foot at a time, just holding plank, just making it a little more challenging. Remember you're breathing normally. Or we can come down onto the elbows and give the baby a little kiss. And then push ourselves back up into a plank. And we can alternate into this movement giving the baby a little kiss. So now we'll go into a side plank. A full side plank, you can bring one foot in front of the other, usually the top leg in front of the bottom leg, reaching down to give the baby a tickle and then turn and reach up, looking at your fingertips. Look down at the baby, give her a tickle and reach up. And to make this exercise easier, you can come down onto one knee and continue on one leg and continue to reach up, looking at your fingertips, and then turn and look at your baby. You're talking to me. Good, and just making sure that the shoulders are away from your ears, and really opening up the chest. So for the last exercise, lying flat on your back, we're gonna place the baby on your pelvis, and we're going into a bridge. So we're gonna bend the knees, so the feet are about hip width apart, and using the baby as a weight, we're lifting the pelvis up towards the ceiling and slowly down. Drop your chin to keep the back of the neck long. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you roll down. The important thing is to roll the pelvis. So you're lifting, rolling the pelvis back and lifting the tip of your tailbone up towards the ceiling. And to finish, we'll go into a nice child's pose, giving the baby a little cuddle and a kiss for such a lovely mummy and me workout. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your friends, hit that like button, and don't forget to comment below. I love hearing about your results. To receive more strategies on better balance of mind, health, and fitness, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.